Hello everyone, have you ever wondered how the brain works to help you recall information? What happens if one day you cannot remember anything, can't recognize friends or even family members? It must be quite horrible. Well, in reality, this can actually happen to people with Alzheimer's disease, a neurological disorder that takes away a person's memory. In New Zealand, Alzheimer's disease are is the most common form of dementia, which affects 40,000 people and costs over $800 million a year. So what called Alzheimer's disease exactly then? Unfortunately, we know very little. But one thing we do know is that every one of us contains an Alzheimer's protein. And in the brain, the Alzheimer's protein gets cut to produce a smaller protein. And this small protein can stick together and they form plugs the plaques get bigger and bigger and eventually take over the brain, resulting in the syndrome of Alzheimer's disease. On the other hand, people without the disease also produce the protein, but somehow they don't stick together and won't form plaques. We do not fully know why. So in order to understand the Alzheimer's protein and the disease, logically you will think of using animals such as mouse or even monkey. However, mammal research is expensive and time consuming a monkey could even take over the Auckland Harbour Bridge, like in the movie, <laughs> Race of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there are also other animals which are perfect for neuroscience research, but are not very well known to the public. Here, I would like to introduce you the small worm known as C. elegans. At first, you may find this hard to believe. How can a little worm be useful for Alzheimer's uh, research? Well, C. elegans is small, but it has a nervous system which controls a range of behavior, including memory. Second, C. elegans also has an Alzheimer's protein similar to human. Now, this is important, meaning that you can use C. elegans to study the human uh, versions. So, in my research, I have um, managed to make the C. elegans to produce the human Alzheimer's proteins, and at the same time, make it glow green just like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> so the green worms are not happy, but now I can study in further detail how the Alzheimer protein make it unhappy. The other, uh, the other fun part of my research is that I can feed the worm a range of chemical compounds or foods, such as red wine, green tea, or even chocolate, to see <laughs> if the worms will turn happy again. Now, you can do this research in mouse, but trust me, using C. elegans is uh, much faster easier, cheaper, and there's no blood involved. <laughs> so um, in the end, it is hoped that the little worm can rise up to a challenge, helping us to understand the Alzheimer's protein, the disease, and ultimately therapeutic development to protect your memory against this devastating disorder. Thank you.